We have the second jogging murder in a week, this time in Massachusetts, where a young woman runner was killed in broad daylight, drawing comparisons to last week's killing in Queens, New York. ABC's Lindsay Davis here with the latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. There are some striking similarities. Both were right around the same age and lived in New York. Both were out for a jog in broad daylight, and it appears both were sexually assaulted. Authorities say there's nothing at this point connecting the two cases, but both communities are not only grieving, but fearful a killer is on the loose. This morning, residents in Princeton, Massachusetts, are on edge as police search for a killer. We have a young woman who appears to be a murder victim, and uh, you can't be too careful right now. The victim, 27-year-old Vanessa Marcott, went for a jog on Saturday at 1 p.m. and never came back. Marcott lived in New York City, where she worked for Google as an account manager. Her social media pages showcase her life, including photos with her mother, who she was visiting in Massachusetts. We do not know if this was a random act. We are asking the residents of Princeton and the surrounding areas to use an abundance of caution. We're asking the public to be careful and to be vigilant. If you have seen anything or seen someone within the last 24 hours that is suspicious to you, we are asking you to report it to the Massachusetts State Police. Police sources tell ABC News investigators are looking into signs of sexual assault. This is the second high profile case in less than a week involving a young woman murdered while going out for a jog in broad daylight. One week ago and 193 miles away, Karina Vetrano's body was found by her father just feet away from a jogging trail near her parents' home in Queens, New York. On Monday night, the NYPD held a public meeting in Vetrano's Howard Beach neighborhood to keep residents informed of the latest developments. So far, we have collected several pieces of evidence from the crime scene that are being forensically processed as we speak. We hope to have all of the results back very soon. The working theory in the Queens case is that Karina's killer may have been a stranger, which is somewhat unusual. In 2014, for example, of all homicide victims, only 11% were killed by someone they did not know. Both cases remain unsolved. Authorities in Massachusetts are now telling people to jog in pairs. Yeah, you got to be safe. Okay, let's talk to Nancy Grace about this right now, our friend from uh, HLN. And Nancy, the police say there's nothing to suggest the cases are linked at all, but it is a striking coincidence. Well, I would not go that far just yet until we get a DNA confirmation of that. I believe part of the reason that they're saying that is the geographical distance between the two. You've got about a three hour drive between them. But look at the similarities, as you have pointed out. Both women, avid runners visiting their parents on a local jogging path, already into their jog. I believe that the second victim was sexually assaulted because she was found unclothed, just like Karina Vetrano. Both of them, I believe, were dragged. The second victim was found deep into the woods while Karina Vetrano had grass in her hands. I'm wondering right now, where is the iPhone? Where is the cell phone belonging to Vanessa Marcotte? Because if they have that, that would give them so much evidence. If they don't have it, that would suggest to me sure. that the killer has retained it. Another issue is they're saying she was killed by a random killer. Interesting. Why would a random killer take the time in broad daylight, this is Sunday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, to burn the fingertips, the feet, and facial features of the victim, all the identifying characteristics. So, Why? If you kill somebody, you want to leave the scene immediately. Why stick around to do that so, and take the time to drag the body into the woods? Think about it. I, I am thinking about it. I'm listening to you, and it sounds like if you were an investigator, your working theory would be that these are tied together until it's disproved? Well, again, the three-hour distance is a problem because in the first one, Karina Vitrano, it suggests that it is random. At first, we thought the killer had taken souvenirs or mementos. That's very common, especially among serial killers. But then those items, her headphones and her left shoe were found about 10 feet away. Uh, in this case, police are not releasing that evidence. Um, I'm very concerned about the second one not being random, and I'll tell you why. Both of them were on secluded jogging paths, known mostly to locals, but this second one, 
that's out basically in a very, very rural area. There were no vagrants. Uh, there were no transients. There were no people out on the beach having a bonfire. This is a half a mile in a very rural area. I wouldn't even call it a subdivision. Who would be there? Who would know about that jogging route? Just a half a mile from her mom's home. It's got to be a local. And you say that's quite different from Queens, where there, you know, there, there had been that area had been known to be a place where vagrants and others uh, congregated. Yeah, and you know what? In fact, I can emphasize that in another way. Police have gone to another measure. It's a little unusual in Karina Vetrano's case. They have actually pulled up all the summonses from the last six months or so for vagrants, transients, people out there smoking pot, littering, whatever they can find. That was done in the Son of Sam case. Remember, he was caught because he parked his car and got a ticket by a fire hydrant. And they are pulling up everybody they know in the Vetrano area Area that had been out there loitering, so to speak. Not so in this case out of Boston in Princeton. It's so rural, it points to a local. That's why I think they may not be connected. Also, they're not telling us whether there's DNA in the second case, but my bet is there is. Okay, Nancy Grace, thanks very much.